convolutional code. Uh, a block code uh, divides data stream into a number of blocks of length k and each block is encoded into an n bit code word whereas a convolutional whereas convolutional converts the entire data stream regardless regardless of its length into a single code word so this is uh, the main difference between a block code and a convolutional code in convolutional code what we have to do we have to first crea create or make a block uh, to code we have to uh, take a block which is we, which is we are going to encode and then it is encoded in convolutional coding uh, the entire data stream is converted into the uh, single code word convolutional code have more power error correcting capability than block codes this is the basic ma main advantage of using convolutional code The convolutional codes are more suitable for very noisy channels with high error probability. Convolutional codes are significant, significantly better at approaching the theoretical channel limit. So these are the qualities or characteristics of convolutional code. The codes can be further subdivided into systematic and recursive codes. We, the, normally the channel coding can be divided into two kind of uh, coding. One is called systematic and the other one is called recursive. A systematic code has an output that is the input. It means that in systematic coding we, uh, this, uh, the encoded bits contain the uh, input, uh, the input uh, information bits as well. A recursive algorithm uses a prior output as part of the new input and convolutional code is based on recursive algorithm <coughs> convolutional codes have memory that uses previous bits to encode or decode following bits it is denoted by nkl where l is code memory depth now let's look uh, at a at a convolutional encoder convolutional encoder is a finite state machine it means it has got uh, memory it has got registers uh, to uh, hold the old value and uh, th uh, this uh, output depends on it processing information bits in a serial manner the generated code is a function of input and the states of the FSM it means what is in the memory of the registers shift registers L is the constraint length n is the code length and k is the information bits length look at n comma k comma l is equal to 2 comma 1 comma 2 encoder below this is a 2 comma 1 comma 2 where the length of the code is 2 the length of the information or the uh, information bits length is 1 and the length of the uh, constraint length is also 2 block length is L plus 1 plus n is equal to 6 and code rate is 1 divided by 2 half so this is a, a simple convolutional encoder where we uh, what we say is that uh, it we have got input bits over here and these input bits uh, the output is uh, taken as x1 and x2 so these the combination of the values in these two registers mj and mj minus 2 is the output at x1 this is modulo 2 addition and uh, modulo 2 addition of uh, uh, states or uh, values in shift registers at mj mj minus 1 mj minus 2 is uh, added using modulo 2 addition to give x2 so as you can see that uh, every time whenever the output is taken the previous value is uh, shifted from this value to this value or from this register to this register or th from this register to this register and that is uh, used uh, in the uh, output of convolutional de uh, encoding there is another diagram of 2 comma 1 comma 2 encoder uh, it is uh, very same as the before but it is shown in a little bit different matter manner input bits are stored in this m0 this is uh, the first register and then these are two shift registers m1 and m2 
so this output over here x1 is first uh, is the combination of whatever the value is in this register and this uh, input bit as you can see that this input bit is f uh, when first input bit comes over here then it is shifted over here then it is shifted again over here and then after that it is discarded so as you can see this uh, whatever that value comes in that input bits is going to affect at least two uh, uh, in encoding outputs of the convolution encoder once once it is over here then it, it is moved over here again it is going to affect the value of the uh, output and then once again it will be if it affect the value of the output and after that it will be discarded and uh, for x2 it is same this m0 is added into this one and this one is added into this one which gives m0 plus m1 plus m2 and this is the encoded output so at every time uh, this one value of input bit it's not going to affect just the present uh, encoded value but it is going to affect the future encoded values as well initially the value in the shift register is 0 0 this is the basic of the convolutional encoder that we assume that initially the it is uh, initialized always to 0 0 these two values over here m1 and m2 since k is equal to 1 there will be only one input bit and that will be either 0 or, in or 1 the information bit we are going to encode will always be its length is always is 1 in this case so uh, it, as we know it is a binary system so this when initially when this is 0 and this is 0 the only possibility that you get input bit is either 1 or 0 so the combination will be like this if uh, the if we get 0 over here so the initially what will be uh, the uh, values in the registers here we have 0 here we have 0 and here we have 0 but if the input bit is 1 then here we have 1 here we have 0 and here we have 0 suppose the first incoming bit is 0 then m0 is equal to 0 as you can see over here and m2 is equal to 0 over here hence x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0 why because if we add the values uh, present in the registers here the value is 0 here the value is 0 modulo 2 addition of 0 and 0 over here gives x1 is equal to 0 and uh, this value is 0 this value is 0 and this value is ag again 0 adding all these three values uh, using modulo 2 addition gives 0 again so the encoded output is 0 0 as you can see when the uh, input bit is 0 initially the shift registers values were 0 0 at output we get 0 0 and the shift register after uh, giving the output remains 0 0 it is it has not changed in this case now suppose next incoming bit is then m 0 is equal to 1 over here this initial bit this first bit which we are going to receive is 1 and initially as we have said that the values in the shift registers is 0 as you can see over here so <coughs> adding these two values this 1 and this 0 gives 1 over here and this 1 and this 1 this 0 and this 0 gives 1 here so if the initially the values of the shift registers is 0 and input bit is 1 then the we we have 1 1 at the output the encoded output is 1 1 what happens is that after giving the in output this one is moved or shifted to here this one is here and this 0 is moved to here and this 0 is discarded so af when this gives uh, 1 1 at the output the state of the registers become 1 0 here when this 0 is uh, moved from uh, to this uh, shift register and this 0 moved to this one nothing changed why because the values are 0 so the shift register state the after uh, the new state or the uh, n uh, next state remains the same but in this case it has changed now the shift register values are 1 and 0 
Suppose next incoming bit is 0, then m0 is equal to 0, m1 is equal to 1. Now we are continuing with the previous example here. We are now we said that the first bit was one, 0, the next bit is 1. When the next bit is 1, what will happen is that as, as I explained you before, this one will move to this one. So the shif shift register values will become 1 and 0. As you can see over here, the shift register values are 1 and 0 now. So now the current state of the sh uh, shift register is 1, 0 or the values in the shift register registers are 1 and 0. Now the next incoming bit is suppose 0. So for 0, what we have in shift register 1 over here and 0 over here and at input bit uh, we have 0. So doing the addition over here, this modulo 2 addition of this bit and this bit we get 0 plus 0 which gives 0 over here and but for x2 it is 0, uh, 1 over here so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 so the output is 1. Now this there is an interesting thing that when if our uh, the values in shift register are one zero and input bit is zero, then the uh, output we have zero one. But after giving the output zero one, this value will be moved uh, into this uh, shift register. So the value over here will become zero, and the value of uh, this value will be moved to this shift register. So it should to this register, and the value will become 0 1 this 0 will be discarded now you can see this this the 0 from here move to this one this one move to this uh, register and the 0 over here has been discarded now suppose next incoming bit is 1 as you can see we have we are assuming that next incoming bit is 1 in that case now the current regi uh, uh, register states is 0 and 1 again doing the same operation 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 and 1 and 1 again is 0 so at output it is 0 0 and uh, uh, the at input it was 1 now again this 1 will be moved to this register and this 0 is moved to this 1 so the shift registers will values will become 1 and 0 this zero 1 will be discarded so we as we can see for information bit is 0 the encoded bits are 0 0 for 1 it is 1 1 for 0 it is 0 1 but 1 for 1 it is 0 0 but it is not always like this because it the values encoded bit values depend on the current state of the rest uh, in the register values these values these two values are important what is whatever is in these two registers is going to affect the value which we are going to have over here